I was in the airport a couple months ago and I found this magazine. I've been meaning to make some of these Adirondack chairs for quite some time. I really have been looking for a design that I like. I didn't want it to look like I uh, nailed a bunch of pallet wood together. I liked all the curves and contours in this design and I thought I had a good idea of how I could modify it to make it so I cut all the major parts out with the CNC machine. I used Fusion 360 to do my design work. I transferred some of the key dimensions from this design to mine just to maintain the scale of the chair. Since I was using Fusion 360, I wanted to make all the joints so they just snap together using dog bone fillets. I have another video that shows how dog bone fillets work and how to make them. In this clip, what I'm showing is all the major structural components and how I cut recesses into the legs to support the, um, the seat slats and the back slats. Um, also, all these parts just fit together uh, in a way that won't require fasteners. Um, so I cut these mortise and tenons and all the joints. Here you can see I have a little dovetail common to the, um, the, the handrail on the back. I'm going to turn that over. And so everything just fits together. I also um, put the arm rail over the back just to keep moisture out of that joint. I cut all the back slats and the seat slats um, out on my table saw. And I used, um, you can see my stock, I modeled that and then went ahead and created joints and laid all my uh, major parts down on my stock and um, just to flat pattern everything out so I could cut on the, on the CNC mill. Once I have everything laid out the way I want it, I bolted it down to the table and hit cycle start.
I was pretty happy with this design and how the chairs turned out. Um, I had to put a little bit of work into it because of the material I was using was reclaimed. Overall, the design was really sturdy. Uh, they feel hell for stout. You can see there's a lot of material in these. I tried to do less narration in this video and show me working through the steps. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like more of the action videos or if you would like to see more of kind of a step-by-step -step walkthrough. I get comments asking for both styles, so let me know what you like. And if you like the video, hit like below and subscribe. I have a lot more content coming out, so stay tuned.